going on? My fellow Dronaholic friends. Air 3, Glenn, super windy today guys. Um, kind of having a bad day. Stuff happening at work and stuff. Uh, but hey, I got a day off and I got a chance to fly finally. It's been crazy windy in Alberta. Don't ask me why. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't remember April and May being this windy. It's supposed to rain like a ton tonight, so I need to get out and fly. So um, let's do a safety check here real quick. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but normal mode still says P mode. I can't remember what it stands for. Okay, we're in bypass, um, nifty. I want to try flying in FPV um, just because it's different. Um, let's check out my safety. My return to home is 50 meters. Um, yeah, I think everything is good. Let's go for a rip. I wish I could afford the goggles three and the Avada two, but I could still FPV with this. Check it out. We'll also check for the precision landing because I got the landing pad. So we're going to go up seven meters, looking down. What is that? Four meters. There's seven meters. Let it hover. You can see my shadows a little bit away from the landing pad. That might affect it. But let's go for a rip. Here we go. Out over Sylvan Lake. Let me just turn around here and show you. It is very windy, guys. Very windy. I'm out at my dad's cabin. Um, there you can see where my home point is. Let's go up a bit and I will show you. That is his cabin right there. It's a friggin' beautiful area. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful area. It's a beautiful home. There's all kinds of beautiful homes along here. Uh, maybe we'll have to do a, I don't want to invade on anybody. This drone's pretty loud, so I love FPV, man. Going down to the water. <laughs> Still going down. <laughs> And rip it. You can't tell I'm ripping. It says I'm in P mode, but this is not P mode. It's normal mode. And I they have not sent an update through yet that I'm aware of that uh, takes care of the P mode thing yet. We're gonna go down a bit more. We're below, there we go. <laughs> I love this. FPV is kind of my new thing that I love. Um, let me just go, if I try going sideways though, let's go out of FPV, sorry. Uh, camera control, we're going to go out of FPV and just go in follow mode. And I want to do a little sideways flight down so you can check out some of these homes. I'm far enough away that I don't think I'm bugging anybody. And people are kind of, it's not really the season yet. But my folks don't live exactly in Sylvan Lake, they live in a place outside along the lake where everybody has lakeshore property beautiful homes though man i think that's the last home right there on this block so it's not like it's a highly populated spot but it is a beautiful area very beautiful area let's go sport mode and just rip sylvan lake is way in that direction guys way in that direction probably 11 kilometers i think sylvan lake is just heard the drone rip past <laughs> fishing season still is not open on sylvan lake until may long weekend not pointing at the drone at all there we go that right there is called range road 23 I'm not in contact. There we go. <laughs> Let's cancel that. Wow, I lost I lost transmission there. Yeah, I don't want to fly that way. I better go up. There we go. Now we have <laughs> now we got her. I'm not even like I'm only 500 meters away, so Sylvan Lake is a friggin' huge lake. Hopefully you guys can hear me. 
the wind is terrible. 66, what am I doing here? 16 meters a second. I got 13 minutes of flight time. My battery's at 82%. Just ripping. You wouldn't know that I'm ripping, but I'm going against the wind, or going against the wind coming back. So I better not mess around. <laughs> Here, let's do a sideways flight. You can see some of these homes. I'll get a little closer here. Oh, maybe the wind's with me now because I'm doing like 20 meters a second. <laughs> Still got good connection. Uh, let me go this way just a little. So I can do a sideways flight. You guys can check out some of these homes. There's like dentists and lawyers and like professional people that live out here. So um, nice homes, really secluded area. Like I said, Sylvan Lake is like 11 kilometers away. So um, we're way far away from the summertime hustle and bustle. Although the lake is crazy crazy busy in the summertime you'll see uh on the screen recording my look at that flying sideways i got 37 minutes of flight time <laughs> when i was flying back i only had 13 minutes of flight time but anyway everybody has their own kind of dock and stuff there you'll see my dad's my mom and dad's is the one with two boat houses. Um, my H is coming up quick. It's not that they're big houses, it's just the area is frigging beautiful, man. And this water is crystal clear. Not one of my favorite places to fish because it's so friggin' busy all the time, but uh, it is, if it, if it wasn't so busy, I would fish here regularly. All those guys are getting ready to put their docks out and their boat, um, their boat launches. They'll store their boats out on the water all year, tied to those boat, boat lifts. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool area. Like I said, I needed to fly today, guys. Many of you know I'm in recovery and I'm just there's just drama happening and, and I'm not a big fan of drama. So there's the dad's mom and dad's cabin right there. Let's fly over it, you guys will see me. And we'll try for the precision landing in a windstorm and see how it does, but it is a very beautiful house that they live in. I love that little turret there on the, on the end of the home. <laughs> it's a turret, I call it, castle-like. There's my beautiful Black Beauty Chevrolet. <laughs> but uh, it, is, it is a nice home. I have done, uh, I do shots for people. Um, I do shots for people when they, just like airplanes used to fly over farms and stuff and take pictures of farms. I do that and frame them and everything and sell them. I did a really nice one of this property. It is beautiful. So I don't think anybody is, is here right now as far as um, the summertime people. Actually, a couple of NHL players live out here, so um, I don't want to fly over their home, so we'll just kind of keep it over the lake. But look how clear that water is, guys. You can see the sand. I am 51 meters up. You could probably see fish if you looked hard enough. <laughs> You could probably see fish. But Sylvan is 11 kilometers directly on the cross there from the screen recording. 11 kilometers, so it is not close. So what do you think? Should we try for a precision landing in 40, 35? I don't know what it is for Gus, but let's give it a shot here. Let's see what it does. I got my return to home set for 50 meters. It's at 52. It should just come straight in. Let's find out. 
Got the landing pad right behind the camera here. It's looking pretty good. This is just a beautiful, beautiful area, man. There goes one of the neighbors. I guess there is somebody here. So what we're looking for is the big bright orange landing pad. Should spin around right now. There we go. It looks like it's off. I'm hoping it's going to adjust. I might have to end this. That's not looking very precise. Oh, there it adjusted on its own. Keep adjusting, keep adjusting. Look at that. Look at that. That is friggin' amazing. another one I want to try one more precision landing Let's try another one I'm gonna send it out all right first we're gonna go up seven meters there it is camera down there's dead center it should update my home point you're supposed to wait five ten seconds there we go all right let's just rip it out We'll get out 50 meters and then we'll initiate the return to home. We'll see if it, I've had, I did have problems. There's 118 meters. I had problems before with my return to home. You guys might recall when I was on the other side of the lake, it was trying to climb above the 400 meter mark and I had it set for 50. And I guess DJI said the batteries, when they get cold, can uh, malfunction and cause some kind of error. I don't know. I'm not a technical dude, but this should land dead center. I'll grab the camera so you guys can see it. Well, here comes. Here comes my baby. <laughs> she is way up there spinning. It should, there's no reason why it shouldn't land dead center of that landing pad. Even in the wind. Oops. Come on, baby. Let's see. Ooh, come on, make an adjustment. Make an adjustment. Make an adjustment. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, it was pretty close. Anyways, kind of a nothing video, just a fun little flight to blow off a little steam. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.